Hey guys, Jonathan here. Well, the end of the year is upon us, and that means that LEGO sets will be retiring. Of course, here at Mini Superheroes Today, we're always talking superheroes, so I want to let you know all of the LEGO superhero sets that are retiring at the end of this year. Now, this is according to Brickset.com. I'll link them down in the description below so you can check out the full list for yourself, but I do want to give you some thoughts on everything that's retiring and maybe speculate on a couple things along the way. So up first, this isn't a huge surprise. The Thanos mech is retiring. This was a really cool set that came out at the beginning of the year, but of course, every year we tend to get three new Marvel mechs, and so that means the old ones have to go away. According to Brickset, Thanos is the only one that's retiring, but I wouldn't be shocked if Hulk and Rocket are also retired. If not, they probably won't make it very far into 2024. Now we've got three Marvel figures that are retiring. That's the Venom figure, the Miles Morales figure, and the Iron Man figure. The Iron Man figure came out first here, and the other two have been out since 2022, so it definitely makes a lot of sense that they are getting retired. The Spider-Man one appears to be staying on, though, and the other thing is there's a rumor that we're getting a Falcon Captain America one, as well as a Green Goblin and Spider-Man from No Way Home. Not to mention we had Captain America and Wolverine coming out. Well, they came out in 2023, so the shelves are getting a little bit crowded and it makes sense that we got to clear out some of the older ones. Now all the 2023 Lego Spidey and his amazing friends 4 plus sets are getting clearanced out. This will include Spider-Man's Techno Trike, Team Spidey at the Goblin Lighthouse, and the Web Quarter set. Now these are a little bit on the pricey side for what you get but they are good minifig packs and I definitely recommend them for that so if you're looking to get them you only got a couple days left. The Iron Man Armory is retiring at the end of the year. This one isn't a huge surprise because it has been out for quite some time and it's been on sale a lot. It was just really pricey for what you got and I can't say I'm surprised in the slightest that it's going away. Definitely a cool set for minifigs, but way too expensive at $90 for the retail price tag. Not a surprise at all, but the Avengers Advent Calendar for 2023 will go away at the end of the year because after Christmas has come and gone, there's really no reason for it. So definitely makes sense that that one's going away. If you haven't picked it up yet, it's a pretty good one this year. Not my favorite, but it is pretty good. Definitely worth picking up before the year closes out. Interestingly, the Guardian's new ship, the Guardian's headquarters, and the Guardian's ship, aka the Benatar from Endgame, are all retiring. Brickset doesn't say anything about the Rocket Raccoon Baby Rockets ship. I would have to imagine that will probably go as well, but it doesn't say on Brickset, so if you're trying to get the Guardian sets, basically now till the end of the month is all the time you've got. All four of the Black Panther Wakanda Forever sets are retiring at the end of the year. That is the 4 Plus Shuri's Lab, King Namor's Throne Room, The War on the Water, and Shuri's Sunburn. These sets were pretty decent, but honestly, all of them were kind of overpriced for what they were. Definitely nice minifigs in all of them, but they have been around for over a year now, so makes sense that it's time for them to go. One that I'm very sad to see leaving the LEGO catalog is Thor's Hammer. I love this set. I had so much fun with it when it came out last year. I did a great food smashing video on the channel. You should definitely check that out. Absolutely love that. I'm sorry to see it go, but I hope it gets replaced with an even more awesome LEGO Marvel prop in the future. Both Thor Love and Thunder sets, the Attack on New Asgard and the Goat Boat are going away. These sets were decent. The Goat Boat kind of made the attack on new Asgard irrelevant because all the figures from the cheaper set came in the more expensive set. So, you know, the movie wasn't all that great. I do have a good music video out though if you want to check out my Thor Love and Thunder music video here on the channel. But yeah, these sets are going away. I don't think anybody's going to miss them too bad. Now, interestingly, the Doctor Strange polybag is going away. If I have my timing right, I think that came out early in the summer this year, but... Hopefully it gets replaced with another Lego Marvel poly bag because this one sold exceptionally well, as did the Spider-Man poly bag the year before. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully when this goes away, we get another great one just like it. Now, I don't think anybody's going to be too sad about the Black Panther bus retiring. This set, unfortunately, came out to not very much excitement. It's a fine set. It's not great. It's not terrible. It's just nobody asked for it. So... I'm not really too sad to see it go away, but if you've been on the fence since it came out last year, you've only got a little bit of time left to get it, and, well, that's that. <laughs> now, the Venom Head, which is in the LEGO Marvel Bust series, is going away. The Carnage one retired a long, long time ago, but the Venom one has been around for a while. I'm sure we're going to get some more LEGO Marvel helmets and heads next year. 
including the Spider-Man mask, which is coming out very, very soon, January 1st. So it makes sense that something's got to leave for something new to come in. But if you didn't get Venom yet, now's the time. And finally, press F in the chat, guys, because the Daily Bugle is going away. It's crazy. This set did come out in 2021, so it's been around for quite some time. But to a lot of people, this is one of the best LEGO Marvel sets ever. We got so many minifigs. It was so much fun when this got revealed. I've had so much fun with this set ever since I got it. And I know that a lot of you guys have had a lot of fun too. I actually went out earlier today and bought another one for my sealed collection because of course I have one open. I actually have two open, but I needed a sealed one for my sealed collection for a project I'm working on next year. So I did go out and buy one last one today and I'm going to be sad to see that one go. But as of right now, according to Brickset, that's everything that's going away at the end of the year. I'd love to hear what you guys think. If there's any of these sets that you're planning on picking up, I would invite you to use my affiliate link down below to help support the channel. But of course, you can buy them wherever you want. It just helps out the channel and keeps things moving here. Keeps these studio lights on, if you will. Anyways, I really appreciate you guys hanging out till the end of the video today. As we wind down the year, I do have some fun year-end content for you, and of course, January 1st will be all new LEGO sets, and I'm going to be covering them right here on the channel. So, let me know what you guys think, be sure to hit like and subscribe down below, and I'll see you on the next video.